Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. I just want to say, follow us on Instagram for awesome photos. I just posted something really embarrassing. Nice. A couple days ago. Yeah, you did. That was. Yeah, I, 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 did I, you see I, that? I messaged you. I saw that. <laughs> now people are like, I want to see Dan's too. Show them yours, buddy. No. You know why? Why is that? I don't want to make you look bad. <laughs> yeah. You're laugh why are you laughing? Because <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I've seen things, that's all. I'm skinnier than you. Yeah, you are skinnier so than me. So therefore I have uh I should be more naturally yeah. less body fat than you. Yeah, let's see it. I also eat less than you. Yeah, you do. Uh, let's let's saying. see it. I just want to I, I wanna see keep it. I wanna keep it a mystery. All right. You know okay. I mean? So this article yeah. today we're talking about uh, this is pretty interesting. This is an article we found that's titled Nine Chivalrous Habits of a True Gentleman that make women melt. Let me ask you something. Yes. Is chivalry dead nowadays? Yes. And, Explain. And, and let me let me tell you that women killed it. Mm. Oh, why did women kill it? I'm not finished. Women oh, okay. had women and men both killed okay. it. Okay. But women have a lot to do with it. Why? Uh well, because in this day and age, you've got all these awful magazines like Glamour, Cosmo, and you got all this stuff online which tell women to think a certain way, behave a certain way. In addition, you don't have anything out there telling men how to behave a certain way. There's very few things. Uh, men's health. Well, but, what was but, that magazine for guys? Uh, uh, GQ? No, no, no. The uh, opposite of Cosmo. Uh, GQ? No, no, no. There's men's another, health. No, there's another. There's, there's uh, a Esquire. Is it Esquire? No. There's no... There's a Maxim. There's a, Maxim, that's yeah, right. That's awful. crap. Everything you see on the headlines is all about the bedroom, all yeah. about this stuff. So Mike and I are bringing chivalry back. We're trying. Um, we're definitely trying. So we're going to go over these topics that uh, this article picked out about different, um, the tr you know, different habits a true gentleman should have, and we'll let you know if we agree or disagree. Absolutely. First of all, can I just identify chivalry for a minute here? I identify chivalry as something that you, as a gentleman, should be able to do with people that even you do not know. I like that. I like that. I like because that. Because chivalry isn't just about what yeah. you what you can do for your uh, Sig significant exactly. other. It should just be you're a gentleman. You're chivalrous. You should be be able to do it for anybody you meet on the street. That's why the this this article is kind of a blend, right? Because right? a lot of these things that we're gonna get to, uh, it's more like a good boyfriend thing, right? And but we're gonna we'll, address that. Yeah. And then at the end, we'll uh, me and you will add in some stuff that are truly right. chivalrous. And some some chivalrous things really are geared towards your girlfriend. Yeah. But anyways, we'll, we'll get to them. So number one, opening doors. Doi. Duh, 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 duh. But I'll tell you, in New York, yeah. this is actually something that some people might, you know, do well to take a course on. Yeah. Uh, it's actually one of my biggest pet peeves in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, Because me and you, we grew up, uh, we opened doors for people. Absolutely. We like you should. Yes. We're not animals. And, uh, and, and, and you and I, we'll even go way out of our way. Like, if, if we see somebody coming, We'll hold the door open. Yeah. I'm from the Midwest. We have this unspoken rule where we're opening our doors and we always look behind us. Yep. Even if we make eye contact with a person, like let's mm -hmm. say they're like half a block away, but we make eye contact, and you got to hold the door open. Right. So it's just, it's just something that you do. Here in New York, uh, most people, not saying most people don't <laughs> hold the door open. Some people do. Uh, also, there's a courtesy when you go through a door that's being held open by somebody you say thank you no one says thank you no one says thank you no here in new york people just you open the door you right. just like walk through like right. you're supposed to do like you're their servant like right. you're just yeah <laughs> my servant just opened the door for me it's crazy and it's it really gets on my nerves and also this applies to elevators as well right right elevators there's a certain etiquette to that absolutely when you're in an elevator or waiting for an elevator push the elevator button, let's say there's somebody else, let's say there's a lady right. there, you always hold the elevator door yep. and let the lady get on first. Right. And when you get off, you hold the elevator door and let the lady get off first. Definitely. And also, when you're inside, yes. you should try to push the button. Absolutely. Or ask. Ask. These are all things that you should be doing. Right. So these are things that I think in most cases, uh, if you don't live in New York or maybe some other crazy city that has so many people who are all upset about something, then it's probably less of a problem. Right. But here it is sort of a problem. And I want to throw something out there. I would challenge people or I would urge people to do this, but also like you got to do it from the bottom of your heart. Right. For example, if you just do it to try to, as a feel good thing yeah. in New York, it's not going to work. Because right. like you said, people aren't going to appreciate you. Right. So by the third door you open and you're like, 
eh, screw this. I'm not doing this. Can I just say that opening the door, at least for <clears> me, <throat> yeah. is like muscle memory. Yeah. It's not even like something I exactly. think about. It's like, oh, I should. You just, it's just something right. you do because my whole life I've done this. Right. And I would even like, I, I do, I see this all the time. Like me, I would even like rush to, if I see somebody coming towards yeah. me, yeah. I would actually rush to get the door before him. Before yeah, them. No, absolutely. And then people look at me in New York like, why are you trying to be nice? This is what I mean. Like, yeah. like, pe like, what? Why are you trying to be nice? What? I mean, this wouldn't even be an issue if, it's, if it was it's like the sad. 1800s, right? Sad. Exactly. Oh, man. But let, let me tell you, though, this is a funny scenario. Yeah. I, I work in Chinatown sometimes, yes. right? So I go in the elevator, and uh, there's a middle-aged Chinese woman there. Uh-huh. I've tried this before. I go, oh, what what floor? Uh -huh. And she looks at me like, why are you talking to me right now? Wait, that she, what, how did you say to her? Because I she said might, in English. She, what if she doesn't speak English? I know, but it was more like, why are you talking? So, so this doesn't really work in Chinatown. Because no. they're like, why are you talking to right. me? Right. Well, Chinatown, first of all, is she could have not just like been like, oh, this guy is speaking something I have no comprehension of. But co <laughs> what floor? What floor? I'm just floor? saying. Uh, two, saving the last bite of food. Isn't that just obvious? That's kind of like common courtesy. Right. Yeah. Um, you really want to, when you're eating with a group of friends, like when we do. Yeah. Okay. I come off as a Neanderthal food eating oh, yeah. crazy dude, yeah. which I am. Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. Yeah. But I am very courteous when it comes to sharing food, True especially story. last bites of food. True story. You know? I you might win this. Yeah. I can attest to that. Like if you if you feel like somebody else likes it more, you'll be like, no, absolutely. Have you right. go like Please, all take Asian parent. Yeah, that. I do. In fact, you eat it. No, you, you eat it. Right. They'll be like, no, no, man. come on, dude, finish it up, and, finish it up. And also, you you had a good point before, which is somebody taught you one thing before, which is, um, and you and you shared this with me. And I totally agree with. Like, you're always gonna eat again. Yeah, you're always gonna eat. Again. Who who taught you that? I was in an etiquette course in college. <laughs> yeah, I took an etiquette course. Because um, you were such a Neanderthal. Yes, I had to do it. <laughs> they basically taught you how to eat properly because right. you know how you show up at a restaurant, there's usually like a proper restaurant, there's like three forks yeah, or there's... a bunch of plates and show you how to do it. Yeah. So we get to the soup portion and the lady was like, okay guys, you get to the bottom of your soup, what do you do? And of course, <laughs> my hand goes up, I'm like, you stick the yeah. bread in the soup, <laughs> soak it up, that's how you do it. That's actually she's like, sense. <laughs> she's like, Why no. Not? She's like, no, that's not what you do. I'm like, well, what do you do? She's like, Mike. Well, she didn't say me. It was like a bunch of people. She's like, you will eat again. I'm like, she's like, just let it go. Right. You will eat again. It's a good, like, obviously Chinese people would be like, don't waste it. But she yeah. was illustrating a good, a right. good point to remember. You're she not, was basically not saying, don't, yeah, don't be a, yeah. don't be a creepo and just like lick your bowl or something. I have a question for you. Yes. What if you're eating spaghetti uh -huh. and you got sauce left? Uh huh. What do you do with that? Well, okay, what do I do personally, or what do I do in that? What class? would she say? Oh, she would say, she would say, let it go. She would say, you'll eat again, let it go. No, that's disgraceful. Yeah. For me, breadstick, oh, please. Dip, why dip, did dip. they give you the bread in the first place? Well, come okay. on. Okay, I, I most know, Italian I, restaurants, they don't give you the. They give you. Okay, here's what I hate. A lot of restaurants we go to, and we, you, you go to a lot of restaurants with me. We get the bread, right? Yeah. And I go crazy on the bread. Yeah, yeah. I like, I just like, mm, I go and sing on the bread. And Can I get more bread, please? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and I hate it when we go eat someplace where yeah. we order stuff that has sauce. Yeah. And then there's no more bread because they only, why do they only give you the bread you, in the beginning? You got to ask. You got to ask. This is why I always, yeah. I'm like, I need more bread. I yeah. can I have some more bread to go with my right. whatever the heck I'm eating. Anyways, that's but so save the last piece. Save of the last piece, especially if it's a significant other. Right. Let's say you're on a date and the girl really likes uh, a, a dish that you're mm -hmm. you're sharing or whatever, whatever. Make sure, make sure she gets the last bite. Make sure she does. If she really enjoys it, and the girl might be like, no, 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 no. you know, then you kind of you kind of you gotta read the person. You gotta be like, right. does she really want it, right. or just kind of be trying to be polite? Even if she doesn't, offer it. No, offer you it. Always offer, offer it, but you don't want to like shove it down her throat. Right. But I'm just saying, you can tell when a person kind of right. just being polite. He's like, ah, like, come on, just eat it, just eat it. Come you on. don't want to go out Mike Chen bite. on yeah. here and just like grab it, like here, honey. <laughs> but this seems obvious. This seems like an obvious point. But I, I gotta say, like, not to point out people that I know, but right. I've noticed this phenomenon in Western society, uh -huh. which is either a guy or a girl. When they get to that, sometimes you order an appetizer, right? Spring yeah. rolls, there's only three pieces. Right. You get one, I yeah, get one. Yeah. And the last one, you would be like... I would offer. However. I would offer. I see this a lot in Western society where the guy would be like, oh, you want to split that one? You know, I'm like, that's the... 
There's just something that's not as uh, personal about splitting stuff. It's it's like, kind of like uh, what am I? You're you're like someone you just met off the street. <laughs> that's like I'm speechless. It's like you can't just be like I know you like just it, but you can't it. be like, would you like the last one? Yeah. And then she goes split it. Then you go okay. But to offer splitting, that's like the wor- that's like the worst etiquette I've yeah, ever that's seen. That's like that's like why Chinese we don't often split bills. It's it's kind of like it's not the same thing, but it does give you a little you know, division between the company. Exactly. Number three, spending time with your family. This is not really something that's a chivalry kind of thing. Correct. This is more like being a good partner. Yeah, definitely. Because you're you're not going to spend time with a stranger's family. (laughs) A woman you just met off the street. Oh, it was nice to meet you, madam. Can I spend some time with your family? Yeah. But this is definitely... Why do I sound British? (laughs) But this isn't just a sign of a good boyfriend. Um, This is more like... If you if you know the relationship's going somewhere, right? And we touched upon this before, because obviously, like, if he's like, I don't want to talk or touch or see your family, uh, there's something wrong with that. Exactly. So that's that's an obvious one right there. Number four. Okay, I don't really agree with this one. <laughs> Suffer through a girly movie. First of all, let me just say, I've seen. I'm assuming they're talking about romantic comedies. I've seen every single romantic comedy ever made, in the not in the world, but in the U.S. Pretty, pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. And. I enjoy those things. Yeah. I I think nowadays we have to distinguish what is a romantic comedy uh-huh. because to me, uh-huh. ro- I like romantic comedy too. Okay. We just don't like the same ones. Right. But we both love romantic comedies. Well, like, which ones do you like? I like, um, well, first of all, guys, if you haven't seen Mike and I's top 10 romantic comedies, you better check this out. Um, it's a great segment. I like mo- I like the less sappy ones. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't like How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. You which like I that. love. I own. Um... I like more uh, funny ones like When Harry Met Sally. I like, if if it's sappy, I, I like Sleepless in Seattle. It's, okay. it's like a different kind of sappy. I love like yeah. Hitch. I suffer, th- even though I, I watched it, I yeah. watched, I would never watch it alone. Right. I watched it with my girlfriend. Yes. I liked it mostly because I was watching it with her. Right. Would I ever watch it again on my own? Right. I wouldn't. But this is also classified as not a chivalrous thing. That's not a chivalrous this thing. This is just being a good boyfriend yeah. or a girlfriend or whatever. Because if there's too many guys out there where they're like, um, nah, I'm not. They just flat out refuse to do that. Right. And I'm like, if you refuse, I mean, there's there's things where I'd be like, you know, honestly, like, I like, I would tell her straight up. I tell yeah. my girlfriend, like, um, like, for example, she wants to go see, like, certain girly movies. I'd be like, it'd be best if you found a friend to go see that. But I'll go see wait, it with you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me stop you right there. Right? Right? You wait, you have turned down girly movies. Yep. But you watch Gilmore Girls. How That's does that... Different. How does that... Differ? I watch it with her. I know, but you enjoy Gilmore Girls. I enjoy it with her. I would never watch it on my Are own. Are you sure? You this enjoy is... Sex in the City. I, That's a whole different ballgame. I love How that is show. that a whole different ballgame? That's a different show, dude. Gilmore Girls is like geared towards girls, like pure girls. Wait, 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 wait. Like, you don't think Sex in the City is geared toward girls? It is and it's not. It is and it's not. You have to have watched the whole season of it. Because I draw my line here. Yeah. Okay, I love romantic comedies. Right. I'm not going to watch Gilmore Girls. I'm not right. going to watch it. Because I actually, I tried it's, it in one it's episode. It's unwatchable. I try to watch it. It's just, I can't do it. <laughs> You're not alone. For most men, Gilmore Girls is unwatchable. Yeah. But anyways, wait, I, I got a quick question. So yeah, this yes. one, we both agree on. It's not a chivalrous It's thing. not a chivalrous thing. Do it. I mean, and me and you, we draw the lines at different places. Sure. I just watched a movie. Would you classify this as a uh, gr- chick flick? It's called Pitch Perfect. Oh, I love that movie. Okay. It's not a chick flick. It's not a chick it's flick, awesome. right? All right, I agree. I like that movie. It's awesome. I like that movie. Yeah. That's kind of a chick flick. It's not a chick flick. I love it. It's got some nice singing. All Start right. That. Yeah. Uh, but it's not geared towards guys. Would you agree? I love it. Okay. But I like that movie, though. It's I was pleasantly movie. surprised. It's a good movie. My girlfriend wanted to watch it. I was a little skeptical. <sighs> but after I movie. watched it, that was a good, good movie. movie. All right. Next, next one. one. Sending flowers. Yeah. Um, well, what are we talking about here? This is also not a chivalrous thing. This is, again, you something do you do in a relationship. Yeah. And I, I, I want to go one step above, which is... Uh, don't just send flowers. Okay, this this is a relationship tip. Yes. How to be a guy, mm-hmm. a, a good, thoughtful guy. Don't just send it on Valentine's Day, on anniversaries, on birthdays. Why? Because yeah. we have a friend. Yes. He he only really does it on those days. Yes. And you know what that becomes? That becomes contrite, cliched. Yes. It's almost like, oh, everybody does it. Yep. 
Plus, you're paying four times as much for yep. a bunch of roses and chocolates. Yep. Do it on a whim. I that's agree with that. What, that's what's going to melt yep. a girl's heart. Can Do I just, it on a wave. Like, let's say you yeah. go pick up some stuff. Yep. Bring back a bouquet of roses. Yep, I agree with that. Also, I want to take it one step further. Uh -huh. I know this isn't like chivalrous. Again, this is more like, uh, it could be kind of chivalrous. Uh, when I walk around, if you, if you really love somebody, and this could be a judge in your relationship, if you really love someone, you're thinking about them a lot when you're walking down the street, whatever. So for me, like if I have somebody on my mind, right. wherever I go, it doesn't have to be flowers. It could be this biscuit. It could be this uh, uh, this cookie. Exactly. It could be a book. It could exactly. be whatever. Exactly. And then these are things you can just bring home to your life. Oh. And that random gifts like that. Oh, that's like heart melt. Yes. Melted heart, exactly. Because that shows that you're pay you're paying attention to details. Yes, that you, you what, what she likes, exactly. what she's interested in. Because guys, guys have a bad reputation for just like kind of being bigger picture guys, yeah. you know. But when you show that side of um, attention to detail and thoughtfulness, yeah, boom. Yes, again, not chivalrous, just right. Good Absolutely. relationship. Absolutely. All right, this is definitely an act of chivalry. Uh, walking on the outside of the sidewalk. Do you guys know why? you walk on the outside of the sidewalk. I would say so they don't get hit by like a car or a bike. That's what most people think. Yeah. That's actually not the reason. The reason why guys always walk on the si uh, on the outside of the sidewalk has mm -hmm. been, has, this is like a thing that's been going on for like 100 years or okay. even more. So back in the day, back in the day, like roads. No roads, they were like cobblestone. Yes, and they're still sidewalks. Right. But what you have is you don't have working sewage systems. Oh. So when people who are upstairs on second floors, what they would do to their sewage is throw it out the window. And usually when that happens, the guy who's or whoever's walking on the outside will get splashed with the sewage. So that's why <laughs> the guy always walks on the outside Yo. of the sidewalk. Uh, uh, yeah. That's awesome. And I just realized that uh, I'm so glad I wasn't dating back then because I'd be walking down the street like, oh, not again. And then what do you do after that? You're just like, know. you know what? That's a good test of a relationship, yeah. how strong a relationship yeah. is. If the guy can be covered in poo uh, and the girl's still like, Oh, it's okay. Let's go clean you up. Oh, man. That's a sign of a strong relationship. Yeah. But also, like, even in today's age when hopefully people don't throw their stuff outside. Right. Um, even in today, the, the street is dangerous, especially in New York yeah, City. Yeah, that's true. You got bikers. Yep. You got del I hate, hate New York City streets. Yeah. Cabs. Yeah. Literally, cars will just run up on the pavement. Yeah. Yep. Okay? You, you need to protect the girl. Yeah. Let her walk inside. Yeah. So that I, I agree with 100 that. 100 chivalrous. Agree with that one. Next one is not. I don't really even get it. Kissing your forehead. This is not a chivalrous thing. This first of all, you can't do that to strangers. Yes. And second of all, I, I, this is more of a relationshipy thing. I think uh -huh. they're saying like, oh, if he does this, it's like, it's just kind of like a, 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 a sign of affection. Yeah, but isn't a lot of things a sign of affection? I mean, yeah. is, is there something about kissing that. the forehead that's more special than other? I don't no, really feel I, I don't like that so. is. Yeah, well, that's so. kind of dumb. This one I don't get at all. Okay. Filling up your gas tank. <laughs> um, Again, I'm not going to fill up a random stranger's gas tank, so cross that one off the list right. of being shivers. This is, this, is, this is common courtesy. If you mm. borrow your, even your friends, like if yeah, I borrow you your it car, up. fill up my I gas it up. tank. Uh, so needless to say, if you borrow your girlfriend's car, you should fill it up. Can I just ask though? Yeah. Why are you borrowing your girlfriend's car? The only acceptable reason is your car's in the shop. Okay. Do you agree? Okay, fine. But how often does this situation happen when you are riding, you're both riding in your girlfriend's car right. and, uh, you and know. She's, dri she's not driving, first of all. Okay. That, well, that's not chauvinistic, but honestly, because my girlfriend can't drive. But, yeah. but no, you just fill up the tank. You're a man. Fill up the tank. Like, why is yeah, this? This is kind of weird. weird. This kind of doesn't weird. belong anywhere. I think this probably just happened once to this writer, and she was like, ooh, this is really awesome. Yeah. Anyways, um, okay, All number right. nine. So number nine, this is I 100% agree with, putting your jacket on. Um, so it's saying that when, a, you know, you're going out to dinner, when mm -hmm. you're leaving, you help the you gotta girl do with it. the jacket. Especially in the wintertime yeah. when she's got a heavy jacket. Yeah. It's, it's a hassle to get it in. I do it. It's almost like you with opening the door. It's an instinctual thing. Mm -hmm. I get up first, go over to go over, fetch the coat. First of all, if it's yeah. in the coat rack, yeah. all right, bring it back yeah. or uh, or get her coat and then put it on her. I mean, yeah. that's very chivalrous and girls really appreciate yeah, that. It's very chivalrous. So that so. I 100% agree with. And uh, I'll go a step further. Okay. Um, speaking of jackets. 
Mm -hmm. It's very chivalrous to be able to, let's say you're walking outside, it's kind yeah. of chilly. Yeah. I uh, see her kind of, mm, right. whatever. Or even if you don't, you know it's kind of chilly. You have a jacket on, offer right. the jacket. Right. Offer Definitely. the jacket. Definitely. You, I mean, that, that's also like, you got to be, that's a, like being a decent human being. Right. You're not going to let her be like, Ugh. it could even be like someone you just met. Like you're walking yeah, somewhere together. To I don't know. Like you just met them, yeah. you're like doing something together. I, I even go as far as like, like if I see, um, even to a stranger, if I yeah. see a woman, she's caught out in the rain. Yes. And you know, like in New York City, you buy like a five, ten dollar umbrella. Sure. I'm just going to be like, take my umbrella. Absolutely. Go. So this, this is the thing. A guy, like I, we can deal with, we should be able to endure a lot more physical and mental punishment. It's, it is not you know? anything to do with uh, gender equality. Exactly. Nothing to do yeah, with that. Yeah. Because people nowadays, some people make right. that into an issue. That's like, why a uh, lot women of- Women are as strong as men. We don't need you to treat us special. You know what? Exactly. Okay, I enjoy being a guy exactly. that treats a girl special. I enjoy exactly. it. So what, we can't like, this is what I mean. Like a lot, the whole feminist movement now is like, we. I don't need the umbrella. I could go buy my own. Okay, I guarantee you 9.5 out of 10 women out there right now will be like, thanks for the umbrella. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm not going to, it's not like I'm going to ask you for your number. Right. Literally, take the umbrella, go about your way. I'll go to the nearest drugstore and buy one. Yeah. I, I got to add one. Yes, go ahead. Uh, you, you used to see this a lot, but not so much anymore. Like when your girlfriend is getting into the car or getting mm. out of the car, yep. open the door for her. Absolutely. No, no one does that anymore. No, you got to do that. I okay. Needless to say, if the car is parked and she's facing the street, yeah. I literally will be like, "Honey, wait. Mm -hmm. I'll go around, mm -hmm. and then I'll open it." If we're parked at a curb, if she wants to do it, let her do yeah. it, right? Or, or like, if we're leaving a restaurant, I go to the car, I go up to the door, open it for her first, like, and okay. then shut the door for her. It might not happen every single time when you're getting out of the car, but right. when you're getting into the car, you should always walk the girl to her door, open the door oh, for her, door. and shut the door for her. Okay. I'll add one more too. Okay. Uh, help your lady get seated in the dinner table. Pull first. the chair out. Exactly. Help her get seated before you sit down. Exactly. Don't be, don't be the guy who's <sighs> like, hey. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're just looking at me. Exactly. Right now. Oh, right. oh, oh, I hate. How many times have you seen this at a New York restaurant? Guy and girl arrive. And, you know, it's fine. The girl probably doesn't care, yeah. but the guy should care. They both sit down. Yes. The guy's like, I'm so hungry. Looks at the menu. She's still, you yeah. know, fiddling with the coat. Oh. Girls got bags and yep. coats. Yep. All this crazy stuff. One more thing I want to add, and this is, I think, this is something that applies a lot, especially in the city. When you both sit down, a lot of the case, you both. Sometimes, probably more often than not, you both need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. You never, you never sit down and be like, I'm going to the bathroom. No. Let her go Come first. on. Come on. Who Would does you? that? Yeah. Who does that? Just sit there a moment. I'm uh, sure she's going to probably right. bring it up soon. So right. let her go first. So you can watch her bag. Exactly. And then when she comes back, you can go. Exactly. Oh, man. Or at least if you really need to go, yeah. be like, hun, uh, do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, exactly. And she's like, oh, no, go ahead. I got to go. I'll be right back. Yep. I got one more. Yes. I got one more. Yes. You're going to agree with me on this one. Okay. If you first start dating or later in your relationship, yeah. you got you to gotta offer or just take the girl home, like walk her home. Dude, you do that. You should do that all the time. No, a lot of people don't. Dude, Dude in New York City, New do you know York, how many you times? You should walk her home every okay. single time. Okay. Okay. I could tell you right now. Yeah. My friends yes. and a lot of New Yorkers yes. won't do that. Why? They'll be like, why am I... Because chivalry is dead. Because guys are like, uh, you live uptown, I live downtown. You goodbye, kiss at the train. No, I would literally ride the train with her uptown. Yeah, because how do you know your girl got home safe? Exactly. Otherwise, no, they'll just be like, yeah, tell me. I mean, I mean, I could understand. Like, let's say you've been dating for a while, mm. but still, like, I would, I would do. Yeah, it. it's one of those things where it's really, it's not like, oh yeah, she's gonna get robbed on her way right. to her apartment. Most likely, that won't happen. Exactly. But it's just a. You know, when a girl's walking home, especially late at night, right. you do you, you know gotta, what? Do you know what it, it to me? What it illustrates when a guy isn't chivalrous? What selfishness? All right, guys, let us know if you have other chivalrous items that maybe we did not mention. Let us know in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Peace.